In this video, we're going to look at the timeline. This is where you're going to lay out all the different clips and media into different tracks to make up your final video. So the first element we're going to look at is this playhead here. We can click on this and drag it around. It's going to move the position where we're working in the video, which you can see up here in the preview player. So if I set this to nine seconds, you can see we're at nine seconds. I can hit play. That I need. We have years of experience help, and we get a live preview up here. Now we can also just play a select part by moving it. You can see there's two little markers here a start marker and an end marker. So if I drag the start to here and the end to here, now this play button is modified to a play selection button. And if I play, always wanted. Even if you haven't been to the dentist in years, or you have major, it only plays this one highlighted part of the video. From 12 seconds to 17 seconds. Double click to bring that back. Now, as you can see, our project is made up of different tracks. I have four tracks in my project right now. You can have up to eight. Now you can think of these like layers where everything sits on top of the layer below it. For example, I have this image here on track one, which is sitting on top of this cat on layer three. You can see it here. If this full screen cat image was above our little smiley face, you wouldn't be able to see it because it would be completely covering it. So you want your backgrounds on a lower track with all of your images and text animations above them. A bit of personal preference here. I like to have the background music at the very bottom track with my voiceover track above my background. You could put all your animations into a single track and all your images into another. Combine them. Now if we need more tracks, we can use these buttons here to either add a track to the very bottom or a track to the very top. Let's add another top track. So you can see we have five tracks, a blank one up on top. We can resize this area here, make it smaller. We have a smaller screen and we need more room up here. We can shrink this down. We can also add a track to the very bottom. Just scrolling here. Now let's look at some of our other options. We also have a copy and paste. Let's say we want to add more of these little smiley faces here. We could keep on adding them again and again from our media library, but since it's already here, we can just select it. It's got an outline. We hit copy. We move our playhead where we want to copy it to. And we hit paste. We can do this multiple times. Click here. Paste. Now since this is just an image, another thing we can do is we can select the image and hit cut. Now you can see this is two pieces. So we could move them here. We can also cut a big part of our video out across all the tracks by using our selection to mark the start and the end. Now if we hit cut, you can see our cut here. So now's a good time to show redo and undo. So say we made a mistake, we didn't want to make that cut, you can just hit undo and it comes back. We can redo it brought that cut back and undo it again. So you can feel safe kind of experimenting around because you can always undo. Now another good use for the cut is to make fixes in your audio. If you need to remove a specific sentence or a cough, you can delete it out, hit cut. So now let's clean up this project a little bit. Here's where the final option, zoom in and zoom out comes in handy. We can zoom out. You can see we have a very large time scale here. We can also zoom way in. But from here you can see we have a very long background music track. The images stop before that. Here's our voiceover here and special effect. So overall, our voiceover is going to determine the maximum length of our video. So we need to either add more images or resize these images to match this length. So all we need to do is click on this clip, 
hold and drag, move it to the end, and it'll kind of snap to the edge. You kind of feel it click to it, so you get an exact right spot. Now we have a gap here, and when it's selected, we move to the edge, we get this double-headed arrow. You can use that to click and drag and make this longer. Do the same for this clip, click and drag. And now we fill this track. Now you can do the same trick of resizing an audio or video, but obviously it'd be noticeable that you're moving content like an image, which is static. So this is fixed. Our background music is too long though. If we were to render it right now, it would render a video about 54 seconds long, but it'd be all black screen for about half of it. See here, here, but nothing because our images are gone. So we need to shrink our music down to match here. Now there's a couple ways we can do that. We could just grab the edge and shrink it down. This is a really long track because a lot of times your background music is going to be minutes long. Another thing we can do is snap the playhead to the end, select our clip, hit cut. Now it's in two pieces. We can right click on the second piece, brings up a menu with properties or delete. And we just hit delete. Zoom back in. And now you can see we have a nice properly sized project. Now you saw a menu when I right clicked on that audio track. We use delete. There's also properties. This will show all the different effects that have been applied to this track. So by default, audio tracks have a volume property. See, this one's turned down because this is background music. We don't want background music playing at full blast. It would draw out our uh, voiceover track. If we added other filters, like a fade in audio or fade out audio, it would appear here. Now, images and videos have more filters that can be applied. So here's our properties. We have a resize and move filter. that allows us move the object around, make it bigger, smaller. Transitions in and out different fades in between clips. We can add a voiceover that matches the length of the clip. I cover all these in more detail in uh, separate videos, but to quickly show you if I add a resize and move filter here, I can move this little smiley face around. Save it. And now it appears in the properties. So I can either access it here or come back into the right click menu. So the final thing to show you are these controls on the tracks. We have a mute. This way you can quickly disable all the audio for all the audio clips on that track. This might be useful to mute a background track while you're working and you don't want to hear it. Or if you need to quickly make two versions of the video, one with background music and one without rather than having to delete it and re-add it and resize it, you can just mute the entire track. Along the same lines, there's a disabled video. So we could just quickly turn off all the little smiley faces and special effects just by disabling the video, do a render, turn it back on. And finally, you can fully delete the entire track itself. But that's it. That's everything you need to know about the timeline.